Misty and today I'm going to show you how to make dried fruit stuffed baked apples and pears. I don't know about you, but somehow I always have this multitude of dried fruits in my cupboard. I don't know how they got there, I never bought them, but they're always there. So I found a really great thing to use them for. I'm going to stuff them into apples and pears and then bake them together and they come out absolutely beautiful and incredibly delicious. So we start with some small apples and pears. You can actually use larger ones if you want to. I just think that they look prettier when they're small. And you just have them right through the stem. And if you can keep the stem intact, I think it's even prettier. And then using a melon boiler, just scoop out the seeds. Now this is going to be your well to hold your dried fruits. Now that our fruits are sliced in half, I don't want them to brown, so I'm just going to brush them with some diluted honey. And here we have about a tablespoon of honey and a little bit of hot water, just so that it's thin enough to brush. And you just brush them on the cut side of the apples and the pears and lay them on your parchment lined baking sheet. And now we're gonna prepare our dried fruits. So we just have an assortment over here, some papaya, some apricot, you can use whichever dried fruits you like or the mixed blends. And before we chop them up, I'm gonna give my knife a quick spray of cooking spray so that the fruits don't stick. Now we toss these in a bowl with a little bit of Ceylon. If you are using dry dates, then you probably won't need this, but it just needs a little bit more sweetness. If you don't have Ceylon, you can use honey and just give it a quick mix. Isn't this already so beautiful? Look at all these colors from the different fruits. I love it. And now we're gonna stuff it into the wells of the seeds of our fruit. And you wanna just really pack it nice and tight in there. And again, if you're using larger apples, you can have a larger well. You just wanna get everything tightly packed. And the salon really helps it stick together. Before we pop these into the oven, I'm just gonna sprinkle them with some cinnamon sugar. Now you don't have to, but I think that it makes it just so much more beautiful and it gives it a tiny bit more sweetness. And now we bake them for about 25 minutes in a 350 degree oven. These just came out of the oven and look how beautifully caramelized they are. And a little bit of honey on top and the sugar made this beautiful golden syrup on the bottom. Could you think of a more beautiful dessert for your Tubi Shvat meal? Look how beautiful it is on the inside too. Mm. You can find more easy recipes just like this one on kosher.com.